what we're doing today is we're going to show you how we change out a palette and freshen it up after each session so that in the next session you're ready to go. Using the palette that is made for storing oil saves a lot of money and time. With the used palette, you remove the paper that you had in there that is wet. It keeps the moisture in, just a tissue that is wet. And then the cup you used for your medium. With your palette knife, you can go into the pad of disposable palette and work around the edges to loosen it where you can remove the, only the sheet that has been used. This is a very important part where you just pull out just this sheet. You don't lift it, you just lift it a little bit and slide it out. If you pick it up, it will collapse on itself and the paint will get everywhere, including you, and destroy the use of the paint for the next session. Then using a glove, just like you do in your painting on your left hand, if you're right-handed, you start methodically using the same schematic that you used the first time you laid out your palette and pick up one color, putting it in the corresponding place of the fresh palette. Then you continue to move around the palette, taking up each color in turn. Then as you have finished removing all of your colors, being sure to save the area off the palette where you're going to put your palette knife by dropping down up here, then you also want to remove some of the used color that we call your trash color from your last painting session. This is especially important if you are going to continue to work on the same work of artwork. Then after you have removed each color and put this back, wiping the palette knife each time. You take your medium cup. In this case, it is just a cup that we found at a thrift store that just works very, very well because it is the same depth as the palette, and so it can be stored inside the palette once you close it up. You can go ahead and put fresh medium in that if you like, and then take your tissue and pouring more water on it where it's nice and moist, put it up where you would normally put your palette knife, and then return the lid to the palette, sealing it very carefully all the way around. On these, they can be a little bit tricky, but if you work on a corner, get one corner secured, then you can move to the next corner and work around the edge like so. Directions for the Masterson palette say do not use it in your freezer, but we have found that it, it does work. It does seem to misshapen the lid a little bit, but if you're going to be away from your painting for several weeks, it is the only way to save it. Another option would be instead of putting your paint back in the palette, you can get one of the little medicine cups that has the individual containers or compartments and take your colors and put them back each in a compartment or you can put it on a smaller plate covered with foil and put it in your freezer ready to use the next time. We hope this will help you save money and time and help you get ready for your next painting.